Hey guys, welcome to the Jet Janex. Today we are going to discuss or we are going to learn the number of students. Sorry, this is a mistake. Sorry, I will just correct it. Pass the R failed. Okay, so I am just going to separate it. Okay, so today we will uh, see in a number of data how can we find the students who have been passed or failed okay so come to the data sheet here and uh, let me explain you the data here okay here are the students bob david mike lee and ali okay and these are the subjects chemistry bio english and maths the bob is a fail in chemistry and uh, he has um, he is passed in English and these two papers, these two exams are still remaining. Okay, David is passed in the three uh, subjects and the one is remaining. And uh, for all these, you can see the data. Okay, now I'm interested in, for example, how many people are passed in chemistry, bio, English, and maths. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I will just uh, press equal and I will uh, um, type count count okay and double press and I will select this range okay this range only and I will press enter so you can see it's only two the count function here it will count the mm, cells only that is having numbers and the cells which are having uh, alphabetic values will not be count and uh, as you can see the fail is in alphabets while this one the one one means the person is passed so here it can uh, show you that the, in chemistry there are two persons who are passed okay and the same thing we can apply here like the count okay and uh, select this area and press enter so you can see the um, p uh, students pass in the bio are three okay same for the english you can see it here and press enter okay so in english there are four people who are passed and uh, in mates there are wait there are only one person okay so it is the very easy um, thing i told you but we can apply another um, formula here if you want me to tell you and that is for example uh, let me type it is press equal and uh, write count a count a okay now select this whole range okay and press enter you see now we have the result and uh, it is four which means uh this exam has been taken by four people okay and the count a function will um, count all the cells which is having a numeric or alphabetical data okay and uh, this four means that the exam has been taken by four people and uh, there is only one person who has not taken this exam okay so with the count a function we can see if um, how many students have been attempted an exam uh, or if you want to see how many students have not attempt uh, the exam so we can do with another formula like this one count for example is equivalent to um, count blank okay count blank you just double click it and uh, select the range and press enter okay so you see now we have the one uh, answer here which means only one student have not attempt the chemistry exam and now if you want me to show you the formulas of all these um, things how we uh, so far we have calculated so let me uh, type it here formula text and press here okay so this is the formula of this one and if you want to see the formula of this one I will show you here okay a is equal to formula text okay and press this one so this is uh, how you will um, calculate how many students have attempted the exam and if you want to see the formula of the last one which i mean this one press this one okay so these are the formulas you can uh, use to make your work easy and faster okay uh, if you like it and uh, you understand it please 
kindly uh, like our video and share with your friends and subscribe to our channel thank you guys bye bye